Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 119. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook. Excel Magic Trick 107 to 119. Hey, actually, this is a reshoot of a video I did six, seven, eight, nine months ago, a long time ago. And um, what, what I was trying to do in the original video is I have a list of items here and a list of items here. And all I want to do is I want to check each one of these items and see if they are in this list. And then I also want to do the same thing. I want to check this item, this item, this item, and see if it's in this list. Now here's the formula I did. Not is in a index match totally unnecessary. Uh, Aladdin at the Mr. Excel uh, message board gave us one formula will work, and DJ Quack Quack at uh, Excel is Fun uh, at uh, YouTube who left a comment in in one of the Excel is Fun videos. We'll we'll do his formula right here, and I have links over here. So you ready? Not hard at all. You we're gonna use the match function match will look up this value and give us the ordinal position in this list here so four it'll uh, not return anything but five when we use the match on this it'll return one two three so the third value so we use equals match the lookup value is going to be one cell to my left comma the lookup array that's going to be this whole list right here so I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it. So we're going down across the row, so I want to lock it across the row. Comma, and then match type. This is new in 2007. It gives you a little drop down so you don't have to look in the help menu if you forget. We want an exact match. So I'm going to type 0, close parentheses, control enter, and then I'm going to double click and send it down. So you see third ordinal position 3. Uh, where is the true? The true is the second item. Where is the word sue? It's the fifth item. And this one, I even put this in. This is equals blanks because that is uh, not like a normal blank. And sure enough, there's one of them here too, so it gives us the sixth position. Now, in order to convert this to just true and false, I'm going to highlight the whole column and then the active cell at the top. I'm going to hit F2, and I'm going to put is number around it. Is number is a true false formula it will return true or false and it's just saying is this a number if it is it'll say true so for all the numbers that come out true anything else will be false so that is a great way to check hey is this item in this list over here false is this item there it's true now let's see uh, that was the one that uh, Aladdin gave and we'll do uh, DJ quack quack here he just he said hey why not use count if count if now the range we're going to be looking up is this list over here Control shift down arrow F4 F4 and the criteria I'll type comma the criteria is going to be that one now this either gives us 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 or however many there are so we'll just convert this count if by saying is this greater than 0 right control enter double click and send it down uh, 3 is there true is there to, and 10 is not now, uh, one thing about this, and we could click here choop, and see that, sure enough, it got it right. Um, and you can run Formula Evaluator and see that uh, it doesn't matter what the number is, right? If there's five fives of there, this is still going to give us a number that's greater than zero, whereas there aren't any tens over here. So if we were to highlight this and hit the F9 key, we see that zero, because there's zero of them over in the other list. So this one comes out false. I'm going to Control Z. Uh, the only other thing about this is Aladdin did say that uh, he did some tests on uh, this formula, a count if formula, and a couple other variants, including a VLOOKUP to check. And he said during his test, he showed um, empirically that this one was the fastest calculating amongst them all. All right, so that is, those are a couple of great formulas from Aladdin and DJ Quack Quack. We'll see you next trick.